Hello Colas and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona where we are going to be discussing on some interesting updates. We start with this report claiming that Barcelona identified Man City mainstay Bernardo Silva and La Liga A's as priority targets in midfield. We are going to be discussing on that as we move ahead. Then secondly, talking about Lionel Messi, as it has been reported that Messi's zero relationship with Barca president Joan Laporta could influence summer move. We are also going to be discussing about that. So guys, before we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't. If you are just coming across the channel for the very first time, you are so welcome. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Barca! Barca! Even though we are just a couple of months into 2022-23 season, plans for the next summer window are already on the way at Barcelona. The midfield department has been identified as a key area that needs to be strengthened, especially with Sergio Busquets likely to depart at the end of the ongoing season when his contract with Barcelona expires. And a replacement for the club captain will need to be brought in why several names have been linked for that position. Journalist Edu Polo, in an interview with Capetas FCB, has claimed Real Sociedad Martin Zubimendi remains the absolute priority at Barcelona. He believed that um, from a sporting perspective, FC Barcelona see the 23-year-old midfielder as the top candidate to take over from Busquets at Spotify Camp Nou. Apart from Zubimendi, Edu Polo also states that Barca also wants to sign Bernardo Silva from Manchester City as a priority. It is no secret that FC Barcelona wanted the Portuguese international last year as well as this year, but the move did not materialize. However, they have not given up on their pursuit for the former Benfica and AS Monaco A's and will go back for him in 2023 as a priority. Edu Polo adds that if Barcelona can sign Zubi Mendy and Silva, they will not look at any other options to strengthen the midfield department. An alternative will only be weighing up in case that the La Liga giants cannot get their hands on their priority targets. How Barca managed to sign Zubi Mendy will be interesting to see considering that the midfield is close to signing a new contract with Real Sociedad. La Real have proven to be tough negotiators in the past and will be reluctant to lose their man, especially after renewing his contract. So Barcelona will have to weigh the possible pros and cons for the deal before pushing ahead with their efforts to sign the 23-year-old. As for Silva, Man City could again demand a fee close to 100 million euros. Whether that you know it is within the reach of Barca will be a key question. With a lot of time still left to go before the next summer window comes, Barcelona have already started you know, planning for their next transfer window as early as now because they don't want to rush into things so late. So midfield is one of the departments according to the latest report that Barca want to strengthen by all means, especially as their club captain Sergio Busquets will likely depart when his contract expires at the end of the season. And of course, we have been talking about uncountable midfielders that have been recently linked with Barcelona, especially from the Premier League, and all of them are free agents. Now in this report, we are focusing on two midfielders, two quality midfielders, which they don't they won't be free agents, right? Bernardo Silva, who have been the most talked about last season, but he never came to Barca again, and also Martin Zubimendi from Real Sociedad, who have been the most talked about possible replacement for Busquets. Um, as it stands right now, Barcelona are still prioritizing those two players as their best option when it comes to midfield when the next summer transfer window comes. And of course, it will be a dream come true according to reports if Barca can succeed in getting their hands on these two midfielders. You know, Bernardo Silva was strongly linked to Barcelona, we quite remember this past summer. Barca did all that they could to ensure that Bernardo Silva come. And the good thing is the player himself was open to a switch to Camp Nou, but it, didn't, it couldn't materialize. Barca's hands were tight, the finances were a problem because Barca had already spent a lot on other players like Lewandowski, Tunde, Rafinha, and Barca already sold their levers that they could sell. So there was no way that Barca could create any magic to sign Silva at the last day of that window. 
but Barcelona continued to keep an eye on him. Barcelona have not given up. The fact that they did not sign him that day doesn't mean that they have given up. Xavi still wants the ball to sign Bernardo Silva by all means. And you ask yourself, where then will Frankie de Jong go to? That's a big question, which means that Frankie de Jong will still likely be pushed out of the club. And um, let's see how it goes. Bernardo Silva himself will, is still open to a move to Barca. Then Martin Zubimendi, being a player that have been Barca's one of the Barca's best targets that Barca want to use to, you know, to replace Busquets when they leave. Um, there have been a lot of talk about the player, the youngster potentially or likely to, you know, to extend his contract at Real Sociedad. And it seems as though Barca are not too worried about that, as this report claims that Barca are still prioritizing the young teenager and they want him to come despite whatever happens. So let's see actually if he comes or not, but it seems as though Barca see him as the best replacement for Busquets. Then on to the next story of discussion. Earlier this month, journalist Veronica Brunati made a huge claim stating that Lionel Messi will be a Barcelona player on July 1st, 2023, when his contract with PSG will expire. The report was met with a lot of excitement as Brunati is close to the Argentina superstar and his camp. However, it seems like the journalist has now backtracked on her previous claims. As speaking on La Sontana, Brunati has now claimed that Messi should return to Barcelona next summer at the moment is not certain but it is suggested that the club remain keen on bringing the 35 year old icon back to some capacity messi left barcelona in the summer of 2021 after barca could not renew his expired contract due to the club's financial situation the former blaugrana captain signed to PSG on a two-year deal which will expire at the end of the ongoing season it has sparked speculation about a potential return to Barcelona on a free transfer next year, with President Joan Laporta talking up the possibility of such a move happening not very long ago. It had even been claimed that talks were already on the way between the two camps and that Laporta had reached out to Messi to mend their damaged relationship after the manner of his exit last year. However, as per this journalist Veronica Brunati, the Barcelona president and Messi have not spoken with each other since the seven-time Ballon d'Or winner left the club, and she further adds that the relationship between the pair is zero. It could end up having an effect on whether Messi considers returning to Barcelona next summer or decides to extend his contract with PSG. There is the option of him going to the MLS as well, where Inter Milan FC has said to be very key. So as things stand, Messi's potential return to Barcelona is uncertain and a clarity on his future could emerge in the new year after the FIFA World Cup in Qatar is out of the way. So colors, with that we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.